Hell is a straight, dark, foul-smelling prison, an abode of demons and lost souls filled with fire and smoke. The straightness of this prison house is expressly designed by God to punish those who refuse to be bound by his law. In earthly prisons, the poor captive has at least some liberty of movement, were it only within the four walls of his cell or in the gloomy yard of his prison. Not so in hell. There, by the reason of the great number of the damned, the prisoners are heaped together in that awful prison, the walls of which are said to be 4,000 miles thick, and the damned are so utterly bound and helpless. But as a blessed saint, St. Anselm writes, they are not even able to remove from their eye a worm that gnaws it. They lie in exterior darkness, for remember, the fire of hell gives forth no light. It is a never-ending storm of darkness, dark flames and dark fire of burning brimstone, amidst which the bodies are heaped one upon another without a glimpse of air. The horror of this straight and dark prison is increased its awful stench, all the scum and offal of the world, we are told, shall run there as to a vast and reeking sewer when the terrible conflagration of the last day shall purge the world. Imagine some foul and putrid corpse which has lain decomposing and rotting in the grave, a jelly-like mass of liquid corruption. Imagine such a corpse a prey to flames, devoured by the fire of burning brimstone and giving off dense, choking fumes. And then imagine the sickening stench multiplied a millionfold and a millionfold again by the million upon millions of fetid carcasses massed together in the reeking darkness. Imagine all this and you will have some idea of the horror of the stench of hell. But this stench is not horrible though it is the greatest physical torment to which the damned are subjected. The torment of fire is the greatest torment to which the tyrant has ever subjected his fellow creatures. Place your finger for a moment in the flame of a candle and you will feel the pain of fire. But our earthly fire was created by God for the benefit of man, to maintain in him the spark of life and to help him in the useful arts. Whereas the fire of hell is of another quality and was created by God to torture and punish the unrepentant sinner. Our earthly fire destroys at the same time as it burns, so that the more intense it is, the shorter its duration. But the fire of hell has this property, that it preserves that which it burns. And though it rages with incredible intensity, it rages forever.